We have seen that the system automatically generates failed validation checks when the data that is provided doesn't fall within what is expected. Additionally, the monitors and data managers can also create queries to confirm or suggest changes in the data. Both failed validation checks and queries need to be resolved before considering the data as final. The Notes and Discrepancies module provides a tool to resolve discrepancy notes and manage the communication with monitors and data managers. Remember that you can use filters to limit the search, like for example, to include only the new and updated ones. This option is particularly useful when the number of discrepancy notes increases. In the list of discrepancy notes, we get detailed information for each note, including the subject ID, the type, and the status. For example, as you can see here, we have four discrepancy notes, three queries, and one failed validation check, from which three of them are new, and one has been updated by the monitor. On the last column, we have the available actions. Click on the magnifying glass to view the content of the discrepancy note, or click on the button with the arrow to open both, the CRF and the discrepancy note. Let me show you the overall process with this diagram before we start solving discrepancy notes. Once you open a discrepancy note, you need to read the description and decide whether it is required to update or not the data. For example, in this query, the monitor found out that the inclusion visit was the 6th of May instead of the 7th. This query will require a data update. Alternatively, in this second example, the monitor is just requesting to confirm a value, so it might not be necessary to conduct any change. If it is necessary to update the data, change the value and click on the Save button. A message with an exclamation mark will appear, requesting a reason for the change. Open the discrepancy note and propose a resolution. If it is not necessary to update the data, just open the discrepancy note and propose a resolution. Having proposed a resolution, the monitor will review it. If the proposal is satisfactory, the monitor will close the note. Otherwise, if the proposal is not satisfactory, the monitor will update the note and reassign it to you. Let's see this behavior resolving some queries. Click on the button with the arrow to open the CRF and the discrepancy note. Be sure your browser allows pop-up windows. In this query, the monitor is asking whether the value is correct or not. Close the window to check the value on the CRF and decide if it needs to be updated. OK, assume the value is correct. Reopen the query by clicking on the red flag and propose a resolution confirming that the value is fine. For example, confirmation and the value is correct. Click on Submit and Exit. And finally on Save to return to the Note and Discrepancies module. Let's see the next example, which requires a data update. In this case, the monitor indicates that the visit was conducted the 6th of May instead of the 7th. To update the value, close this window, make the change, and click on the Save button. As commented before, the system requests you a reason for change. Click on the red flag to propose a resolution. For example, update and the value has been corrected. Click on submit and exit and finally on the save button.